What if I told you all, every single action you take, every meal you eat, every purchase you make has a hidden cost. Not in dollars and rupees, but in carbon. The real challenge we face in today's world is just not about reducing our carbon emissions, but about understanding our personal role in the climate crisis and taking the first step to solve this problem, measurement. Now then, let's take a step back and think about the air we are breathing in this auditorium. It has been reshaped by decades of industrialization, transportation and consumption. But here is the thing, it's not just governments and corporations, it's you and me and how we contribute to this system of excess and how we can together create a truly sustainable future by pushing beyond the limits. Most of us here don't realize how deeply our lifestyles contribute to carbon emissions. Our homes, our diets, our traveling, everything adds up. Excess is just not a consequence of modern lives. Rather, it's an opportunity, an opportunity to understand where we exceed and how we can redefine possibilities. Now consider this, a person living in a developed nation has a 10 times more carbon footprint than a person living in a developing nation. Why? It's because of their comfort, consumerism and convenience. But this has led to unsustainable levels of energy use and waste. But the good news, we are aware. And awareness is the first step for collective action. Let's shift our focus here for a moment. We humans sum up for 0.01% of the entire life on this planet. Yet, we are responsible for 80% extinction of wild mammals and 50% of plant species. We have not done this in malice, but by simply living the way we do. We have not only harmed the planet, but changed entire ecosystems. Remember when we were young and the birds used to sing, they are silenced, silenced by the pollution. Marine life entangled in plastic waste. Forests are being cleared at an alarming rate. Millions of species are being displaced. We have exceeded our limits, yet we have the power to reverse it and restore the entire web of life. Now, how do you measure something that is invisible? How do you measure something out of thin air? Thankfully, we have tools powered by AI that provide standardized benchmarks, real-time data monitoring, to allow you to calculate your carbon footprint in real time. This knowledge, these tools, shift sustainability from an abstract concept to a tangible goal that we can achieve. Let's take another example. Think about your morning routines. When you wake up, you turn on the lights, make a cup of coffee, switch on your phone, Every single one of your actions has a carbon footprint. Imagine these actions like carbon tax. The transportation of your coffee beans has a carbon tax. The energy and the water you use at your home has a carbon tax. Imagine these carbon tax like price tax. And imagine how smartly and efficiently you will consume. Once we can measure, we can manage. Small shifts in behavior like sustainable commuting, mindful consumption, and using energy efficient appliances at home can significantly lower our emissions when we take charge. A single action may seem small, but millions of actions taken together can create a movement. I know behavior change is not easy. We live in a world designed for convenience, for our good. But we should not think of sustainability as a sacrifice. We should think of sustainability as an upgrade. 
an upgrade for the entire planet and upgrade for ourselves. No matter how much emissions we reduce, some emissions remain. This is where the concept of carbon credits and carbon offsets come in. We should not think of carbon credits of a, 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 a thing that, that can cancel out our emissions. And we should think of uh, taking responsibility. Carbon credits can be bought by investing in projects like reforestation, clean energy, and carbon, uh, uh, and carbon capture. Think of it like this. If you can't eliminate a habit entirely, you can at least balance it out, right? Your commute to work or coming to college every day has carbon emissions. You can invest in a tree plantation project that can offset your emissions. Or the workplace, the company you work for, or the university can invest in renewable energy to offset their energy emissions. Because sustainability is not about cutting back. Sustainability is about innovating and seeing what's possible through human action and taking responsibility of our actions. History has shown that breakthroughs happen when we exceed our limits. Why should sustainability be any different? We can make it happen. Imagine our homes are carbon negative, that businesses are operating beyond net zero. The idea here is to go beyond guilt and move into action. Because change doesn't happen in isolation. When we individuals take charge, communities follow. When communities change, businesses adapt. And when businesses shift, governments respond. This is how transformation happens. And this leads to a global collective movement. Because the future is not something we wait for, it's something we create. Thank you.